wow, this lighting is kind of shit. It makes me a little upset. It's spaghetti! My dudes, we're gonna have a little talk about the time that I gave myself food poisoning three times in one month. Now, before I go any farther, I just want to point out that, like, I do know how to cook. And I have my fucking, my fucking safe food handlers fucking shit. So, like, I know how to cook! Just not those days, apparently. Jesus, I got some, like, fucking heaven filter going on right now. <laughs> So I've been on my own now for a little bit. Completely self-sufficient, and it's pretty lit. Being an adult is not as much fun as I thought it would be, but it's not that bad. <laughs> so when I finally like got my own place and shit, like I, I spent probably close to 300 bucks on groceries. Because I, I'm like, yo, like I only live by myself. This is gonna fucking last me forever. It didn't. So the first time I got food poisoning was on the third night in my own apartment. And it was from chicken. <laughs> now, I know how to cook chicken, okay? But in the oven. See, when I first moved in, my the inside of my oven failed to be clean. So I didn't want to use it until I cleaned it, but I really want a fucking chicken. So I, I made chicken breasts on a, fucking, on a pan on a stovetop. Now, I've never done that before. I prefer in the fucking oven. So I didn't know how long to cook them for. And I hadn't got my Wi-Fi set up yet. I didn't have data. So I'm like, I don't know how to search this up. So I'm just gonna fucking stick a goddamn toothpick in there and hope for the fucking best. And the best was not good enough because I got sick for like two fucking weeks. Now you're probably thinking, Keith, you, you said you got food poisoning three times in a month. How can you get the first one lasting two weeks? Yeah, they fucking overlapped. Six days later, I wanted to make some ribs. And guess what? So I didn't clean my oven. So I had to make them in a pot. And can you guess why I got food poisoning? You guessed it. I don't like cooking on the fucking stove top. I did not want to cook the floor boiling fucking water. So yeah, I ate a half a thing of raw, raw rib. Go, go me. Now, whoever is watching this that like, I know. I know how to cook, okay? I just hate cooking on the fucking stovetop. I much prefer the fucking oven because everything cooks at 350. <laughs> See, and the third time I got food poisoning was the fucking most embarrassing of all of them because it wasn't even a fucking meat product. I got food poisoning from a fucking grilled cheese. To this day, I still have no idea if the cheese was bad or if the fucking butter I put on the bread was bad. I don't fucking know, but that one was the fucking worst of all of them. Mainly because like all three periods of fucking food poisoning overlapped each other. So like the girl cheese was the fucking worst one because like the two from before were already fucking there. Well, that, that's about it for, for that story, I think. But I will have you guys know that I do know how to cook on a stovetop now. And I'm pretty fucking good at it. I can do, like, the, the Gordon Ramsay fucking flick of the wrist, fucking flick of the wrist, and fucking flip food in the pan. I'm pretty good at that now. I can do it with my grilled cheese. I can do it with, I can do it with, I can do it with fucking anything I got in there. As long as there's no grease in the pan, and I'm fine. <laughs> Anyways, we only have like two more videos of car talk so that I'm done doing them. I'm not, I'm not going to be stopping forever. Just for a little bit. But now, I have to go to work because I'm fucking, I'm making this video 45 minutes from my fucking shift. Fucking time management at its fucking best. Anyways, bye. Little mini side story for you guys today. I'm gonna tell you about the time my dad gave me food poisoning. So, my dad likes to cook everything in a crock pot. I don't. But anyways, so, <laughs> he, he, he put a bunch of chicken in the crock pot one day and he fucking left for work and he's, he texts me, he's like, hey bud, when you get home from work, there's gonna be fucking chicken in the crock pot ready for you to eat. I'm like, yo, 
Hmm. That's fam with no vowels. Hmm. Thanks, man. Like, that's fucking awesome. So I get home from work, and I'm like, ooh, a chicken. And I ate so much of it until I realized that it was still pink on the inside. My dad failed to mention to me that the block that we lived in had a fucking power outage. Like, the landlord fucking called him and told him, hey, the power went out, just so you know. And he didn't fucking tell me. I ate so much fucking chicken. I'm surprised I didn't fucking die. Fun fact, I don't let him cook for me anymore.